Hello everyone, we're going to continue our look at the different SAMs in SAM Simulator by looking at one of my personal favorite systems, probably because it's the first one I really learned how to use, and that is the SA2. This is the non-export scary 6 centimeter wavelength version. This is pretty cool. You can see visually the difference is the export version and the Russian version. So anyway, we're going to go to Shluk. We're going to set up a very similar scenario to what we did before. Go ahead and load ourselves up with some missiles. We're Add a, a radar reflector. Then we're going to go ahead and set up a jamming radar reflector uh, off to the southeast. Then we're going to go ahead and push the start button. So uh, looking at the control panel on this thing, once it comes up, you're probably going to recognize everything pretty much right away. Some of our buttons have moved a little bit, but in general, it's roughly the same thing. The first thing I'm going to do is come down here and press the power button. Then I'm going to go ahead and activate. I don't want to use a computer fuse. I want to actually go ahead and use the real thing. Then I'm going to go ahead and turn on my missile control channels. And now things get interesting, because in this one, the antenna switch is here instead of what you're probably used to, where it's over here on the F model. I'm going to go ahead and turn that on. I'm not going to energize my radar because I don't need Very important. What I will do is I'll call up my little guys and say, could you give me six missiles ready to go? So um, we have the plotting board again. And you can see this is target exactly almost north. And we have another target pretty much southeast. So uh, how do we use this system? By the way, pressing this button like before will cause your missiles, represented by this red line, to line up with where your radar is pointing. So how do we use this one? It's a couple different ways. First method is we can come over here to um, IADS plotting board, click on 1201, and then you can actually come here and uh, press this button to the right, and it will, uh, it will actually pre-aim everything for you without you even needing to press a single button. You see in this case we're dealing with a target that's 20-30 kilometers away. It's a pretty good distance. Go ahead and switch to the shorter distance real quick. Uh, let's see here. Uh, good distance away. This is just zooming. Okay. Yeah, so about 23 kilometers away, which is what we expected. 5,400 feet. Check this out. It already knows its height and everything like that. We'll go ahead and take a look at its height. Yeah, about, yeah, 5,400 feet. Everything's already pretty much ready to go. We could even switch to a three-point guidance method. This is pointing the radar and the missile and the target at the same thing. We could even reach down here and go ahead and push the push button and fire, even though we have not even turned on our radar yet. Again, you never get this lucky. So I'm going to go ahead and energize our radar. Oh, there's the target. I'm going to go ahead and lock it up conventionally. Keep in mind, I locked on the target after I already fired. There's the radar. Go ahead and bring up the TV camera. That's the S key. You can actually watch the missile as it tracks its way directly towards that little balloon there. Now, if I were brave, I would go ahead and let this missile do its thing without ever flipping my radar on. But I'm actually going to go ahead and flip it on for that last couple seconds of travel. Wait for it. It'll be a pretty big boom. Yeah, we got it. Radar off. That was awesome. This system is awesome. But I'm gushing a little bit. Anyway. Let's go see if we can find that obnoxious jamming target. As usual, this is a pretty easy process. You know, my radar around and look for the noise. Ah, there's the noise. Find the noise, get in the middle of it, go ahead and lock it up in azimuth and elevation. Oh, but things are different. So what we have to do now is we have to, we have a special tool on this version of the SA2. You can actually see the target through the camera already. How about that? Um, this is a special tool on board to make our lives easier. By coming to our little, um, uh, aiming switch, we can actually switch to the special mode right here. Uh, that looks like an I-87V mode. That basically is a three-point mode that homes on jamming targets. Go ahead and use two. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here, I'm going to flip this switch to the right to tell us that I want to manually input the altitude of the target I'm looking at. How do we get the altitude? Right there. That looks like 6,300 meters. Now we come to the main page. Now all we have to do is dial in altitude of the particular target. Go ahead and crank. It's 5,300 on the nose. Okie doke. And that's it. That's what's so great about this system. That uh, once I have that kind of pre-established and ready to go. By the way, you could always be using this rest radar. But granted, we can't use it. Because watch what happens when we're having target. Spaghetti. So there we go. We can actually go ahead and uh, fire at this target. Now notice we have a slightly wider range. Range looks like it's about... Did I see that correct? 
recollect six. Good. By the way, I, with this direction is range, this direction is height. So I've got that set pretty well as it is. Height's over there on the right. I am making things up. I apologize. Right, whoop, too much. Right there. Got it. So theoretically, our target should be right there. If this works, it's a push. Keep in mind, you can't fire missiles if your antenna is not activated. That seems a little less intuitive than most people get credit. Go ahead and zoom out, and you can watch the missile go, oh boy, what do I do? As it tries to track its way all the way to the target itself. Speed up time a little bit. Note, this system will track a moving target. And again, I never have to flip on my actual radar. Oh, we got him! And you could say, smoked. The poor little balloon gets shot down. Let's go ahead and try against a moving target. This time. We'll see what our missed distance was. Uh, first missile was 37. The second missile was 17. Oh, that was that's sloppy. This is how long your radar's turned on. So let's go back to a Shuluk. Go ahead and give her missiles. Let's go ahead and get us a B2 classic. Add the target. Oh, we're not going to do noise jamming. Woo. Oh, geez. I hate that kind of jamming. Start. Go. For some reason, it's already turned on. Something seems wrong about that. Oh. Apparently, I forgot to shut jamming off. Oh, well. Doesn't bother me. Go ahead and switch to my uh, anti-jamming modes. We need to figure out what his height is. His height is 137. Oh boy, he is up there. Let's go ahead and uh, use our little gauge here. That is a one, 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 two, one, three, seven. Woo, too much. Three, seven, right there. And now we're ready to fire. Ah, huh, that's kind of a bummer. I accidentally left jamming on. It would have been a heck of a lot easier. Doesn't matter. Uh, when you do the actual scenarios that are built into this program, you're going to be doing jamming shots all the time. So you might as well get used to it. Uh, let's see here. 137. I kind of want to confirm his altitude stays at 137, 13.7 kilometers, before I actually take my shot. And I'm definitely going to be firing a pair this time. And I'll turn one on radio fuse. Um, not all radio fuse. Oh, no, that makes no sense whatsoever. Leave this fuse off. You want to use your proximity. I can actually see him in the camera, so that tells me at least I'm looking at something, not being a uh, deception. All right, here. Speed up time just a little bit. All right, get ready for the shot. Okay, now we need to confirm he stayed. Now he's down to 124. Okay, so he did lose some altitude. I was right. Four. The push. Uh, that was early. Yeah, I don't think that one's going to get him. We're going to try, but I don't think it's going to get him. Uh, let's go with the other one. The Fushk. And off the missiles go. Now keep in mind, this is a jamming, moving target. I miss a lot. That's what I'm saying. Okay, what you're actually seeing is the contrail. Then you're going to watch my missile come catch up to him. Get up time a little. Oh, he's turning. Oh, we got him. You're not going to... Oh, look at him maneuver. That's impressive. Okay, let's watch what happens. Oh, we got him. Okay. So apparently my demonstration was actually fairly effective because uh, we nailed him. And again, we never actually turned our radar on, which shows you how incredible this is. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at our results. Remember, this was a jamming target I hit. All right, looking real quickly. Uh, we missed him by 36 meters. The second missile, obviously, was the one that was chasing debris. They missed them by two. Seconds. All right, so uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed that uh, little tutorial. I really like this system. If you want to really learn a system well, this is the one. If you were focusing more on Vietnam scenarios, this is really a good one. If you want to focus more on, you know, other kinds of scenarios, this is a really, really good one. All right, enjoy.